Mikasa did not get her memory erased. Did not happen. And, and I just want to, I haven't uploaded in a while, but I just want to take this quick time to make a video to really uh, give clarity to or explain a maybe confusing plot point once again, especially with a lot of uh, misinformation and lies going around about 138. When I say 138, I mean the cabin sequence. So a lot of people said that Mikasa got her memory erased in the cabin sequence, and that, and that shouldn't happen because she's an Ackerman, which is correct. That shouldn't be able to happen. Uh, but fortunately, that is actually not what happened. Uh, now you may be saying, well, Beluga, she mentioned to Armin, she said, you remember now too, don't you? Remember when Aaron came to visit us in 138? In the finale. Whichever medium you choose to, to, to view. Now, I'm going to introduce this concept of semantic ambiguity. It is when one word can mean multiple things. For example, the sentence, the old man, the boat, especially when I say it in that cadence, would imply something that doesn't make any sense. What do you mean the old man, the boat? Can you finish that sentence? No, that is a complete sentence. I promise that is a complete sentence, fully grammatically correct. The only difference, the only thing is that man, the semantic domain of man includes a verb. It includes a verb, which means to like steer or to maneuver. So when you use man as a verb and old as a noun and not as an adjective, the old man the boat. Oh, the old people man could steer the boat. But if it was a story and someone said that, and let's say, let's just say that that caused a plot hole, that sentence, the old man in the boat, interpreting it as one old man was, man, was yeah, the old man in the boat, and then make a sentence. Someone would say, well, that's a plot hole. Uh, and I would say, well, actually, no, man is a verb. Uh, it would be expedient and it would be honest of you to assume that man in that sentence is a verb and not a noun. Uh, because it is ridiculous and it's dishonest for you to assume that the version that doesn't make any sense and contradicts the prior plot points is the correct intended version, but the version that makes sense is not. So this has to do with 138. So, when she says, you remember now two, she's referring to the rest of the 104th. And maybe saying, that is a stretch, Beluga. That is, you are really stretching that definition. Okay, let's pretend... Mikasa is having a party at her house. She invites the 104th to come over. Let's say Armin shows up late. And she said, oh, I'm glad you made it here too. You made it to our party. Now, does that sentence make sense to everyone? Does that make sense? That, that checks out? You made it here too. You made it to our party. Makes sense. Well, here's the thing. When she says, you made it here too... She's referring to the rest of the guests. Because remember, he arrived late. So she's, she's referring to the rest of the 104th. She's not referring to herself because it's her house. She didn't arrive to her house. She's already at her house. She's referring to the rest of the 104th. So when she says two, she's referring to the 104th. And when she's saying our, she's referring to everyone in the group. You made it here too. You made it here to our party. Now, and so when Mika says to Armin, you remember now two, she's referring to the rest of the 104th. And when she says, you remember when Aaron came to visit us? She's referring to everyone Aaron visited. Uh, and you may you, you can say, oh, that's a, that's you're stretching the definition of two. <laughs> Whatever. You can say that. You, you can say that. However, I, I would like I would like to know why would you choose the definition that creates a plot hole rather than simply saying two is referring to the hundred and fourth? Uh, so if you had any questions about that, I hope that helped. And if you were lied to, which is a great amount of misinformation going around, especially after the Blu-ray leak. <laughs> uh, so I, I just wanted to hope I hope I could clarify that for you. Uh, and stay tuned, because I, I, I am, I, I am <laughs> believe it or not, I am going to release my end character analysis. I'm, I, I have 6,000 words already written. This is not like a nebulous project that I have. I have 6,000 words written. I'm just waiting for my partner to finish his side of the script, which he said he'll finish in the summer because he has college or something like that. Whatever. Anyway. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.